Hello there and welcome, welcome to my friends, subscribers, unsubscribers, trolls, bots and lurkers alike. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world or if you're watching in the future. I hope you're happy wherever you are and I hope you're having a fantastic week as well. Today's Wednesday, I think it's the 3rd or 2nd of June, yep, 2nd of June. Just looking at some of the buildings, strange buildings we have in the world and come across this. So I'll just share this one quickly. The world is full of mysteries, both scientific and seemingly supernatural, but some of the greatest mysteries of all have risen from our own creations. Buildings can hold different kinds of power over people, whether for what they represent or influence they exert or through a tangible product. Whatever the case, Liv Smarter has carefully assembled the most list of the most mysterious buildings in the world. It is sure to leave you scratching your head in some places, scared for your safety in others. But fret not, you can explore these corners of perception from the safety of your home computer since we've done all the legwork for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the collection of oddities we've laid out in the complication of the most mysterious standing structures. Hmm. Okay, they've got 33 mysterious buildings, and of course, 33 is the skull and bones. Okay, so this building, the group's influence, Ivy League backdrop of Yale University, the Skull and Bones organization, has a, a rooster that includes uh, many of the world's prominent leaders and businessmen. But the secrets that lie within its temple are truly discouraging bit. Ah, the truly discerning bit. These guys have reportedly made a habit of keeping the remains, particularly skulls, of historical features from what we've gained into our research. It seems like they've chosen revolutions and dissidents for their collections. Ah, uh, revolutionaries and dissidents, including Pancho Villa and Geronimo. 32 is the megalith temples in Malta. Interesting. Probably had some ink on the outside of that by the look of it. Probably um, granite or something. On the island island country of Malta, there lies a series of temples constructed over the course of thousands of years. Indeed, it has been claimed that these temples are the oldest freestanding structures in existence, and the neighbouring half-buried Gobekli Temple uh, Tempe complex is believed to be far older. What's especially remarkable about these temples is they exhibit construction techniques not seen anywhere else for thousands of years. Yeah. Apple's secret facilities in Silicon Valley, California. Apple has recently acquired a smattering of new facilities in the Bay Area for its R&D projects, naming them each after a different Greek deity. One such building in Sunnyvale, codenamed Ra, Ria, R-H-E-A, has drawn complaints from neighbors reporting strange motor noises late at night. Many of the buildings are reportedly ready to an Apple project called Titan, which is rumored to house the development of self-driving electric car. Turn us up for the beta, they said. Hmm. Falco's Temple. Temples. Dama, Italy. It's quite intricate designs and on the floor. Looks beautiful with the stained glass. Deep in the outs of northern Italy, nestled, nestled under the modest house of Little Remark, lies an incredible network of underground temples. Orbeto. Sorry for saying this wrong, I can't even say it, I don't want to say it. Air Audi, also known as Falco, insists the temples are results of visions from past life, which have afflicted him since the age of 10. Beginning in 1978, Falco and, his, and a few friends and his, a few of his friends began a 14-year project digging into the mountainside to construct these incredibly detailed temples based on sketches of his design. The Italian government has since proclaimed the temples as eighth wonder of the world. That's really interesting to do uh, that, claim it as the eighth wonder. Quite beautiful, like you got marble, this is all marble mosaic by the look of it. I thought it had stained glass. Looked like stained glass. On the floor, it's just unreal. I hit that one. I thought it was stained glass, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Um, it, probably mosaic with tiles by the look of the way it's all sort of put together. I'm not quite sure, but it's very beautiful. Mount Weather, Berryville. VA. Um, yeah. This 
is um, in the book uh, called The 100. It's about 100 kids that are they're all up in space. A disaster happens on Earth and all the elite, you know, merge all the space stations together and live up there. And then they send 100 kids down to the Earth, you know, a couple of hundred years later to see if it's livable. Very interesting book. Um, they made a series on Netflix about it too. Very interesting. Okay, Mount Weather is a top secret military base constructed to house the military and political elite in a state of emergency. For instance, former Vice President Dick Cheney was sheltered here in the days after 9-11. It has also been rumoured that a parallel government is maintained at this facility, which would take over in the event of a catastrophic attack that hypothetically wipes out our elected officials. Sounds kind of far-fetched to us, but who knows? Mourn Cell Seaforts, North Sea UK. The strange-looking structures are oddly reminiscent of Waterworld, but they are actually remnants of World War II, constructed by the British Royal Navy, six miles off of Suffolk. These towers stand abandoned, with one exception. A self-proclaimed branch of royal, the royal family, ordained Bates, has established their own North nation state within one of the towers, claiming it is their birthright to suit themselves. I was pretty sure they were actually being used for data. Um, one of the VPN companies was using it as one of the secure data areas. Pixar Studios, Emeryville, California. Oh, people know where the floor safe is now, don't they? The studio is known for bringing us countless classics like Toy Story, Finding Nemo. It is also not without secrets. Reports tell of hidden rooms, including a Speaks Easy, which Apple Genius G Jobs reportedly frequent. The hidden lounge is now decked out with Pixar character, fat heads, and other memorabilia. Hmm. I wonder if it's something else. Now, I'll probably say this wrong, but the ruins of Teotihuacan. Ah, oh, I apologize, Mexico. So sorry. I'm not going to try and say it. I'll just butcher it. It was discovered by the Aztecs roughly 500 years after it was abandoned, presumably by its architects. The ruins lay just outside Mexico City and is named loosely translate to Place of the Gods. The city was home to an estimated 250,000 citizens and very little evidence of art or other culture remains to tell the story. However, from what we could see, these folks were really into human sacrifice. Only about 5% of the lost city has yet to see the light of day. It will be interesting to see what is unearthed as archaeologists explore the buried ruins. Why do they assume it was sacrifices? Hangar 18 of Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Dayton, Ohio. While many have speculated the Hangar 18 is where the government keeps evidence from alien crash, this is one thing is for certain. Conspiracy theorists aside, the facility does house black budget research and development for aviation technology. It was the home of Project Blue Book, a government study into the existence of UFOs, but through most of that research has been released to the public. Whether they are developing new, their new tech from a secret alien tech or doing some off-the-book study, there's nothing happening in the hangar they... There's something happening in the hangar they don't, hangar they don't want us to know about. Sorry about that. <laughs> Nas National Library of Kolkata, Indian, India. Beautiful looking building, isn't it? It has long been rumoured that the National Library in Kolkata was haunted, but a spooky discovery in 2010 sparked a formal archaeology inquiry after researchers located a room within the library that had no windows, doors, or other entrances. They secured formal position to drill through the wall and assert ascertain the room's purpose. Theories range from treasure room, mausoleum, to torture chamber, and I took ha half a year before these theories could be debunked, as it turns out the room was just a mud brick, mud block, used in the construction of stabilizing the building's foundation. Weird. 23, the Loreto Chapel, Santa Fe. Is that New Mexico, I think? Beautiful spiral staircase. This Gothic revival house of worship is an interesting case, thanks in large to a part of the legend of its spiral staircase, which connects the ground-level pews to their core choir loft. 
It's constructed as said to be unorthodox, that it had no central column to land support, and it's held together using wood pegs as opposed to nails. It is said that an anonymous carpenter constructed the stairwell in 1878 and promptly disappeared without requesting payment. More than kind of odd. 22. New Grange Island. It's interesting, isn't it? The structure presumably served as a pagan site of worship and is estimated to be 5,000 years old. The building's positioning lead, lends itself to the assertment as the right winter solstice brings a flood of light into its main chamber at sunrise. As one of the Earth's oldest standing structures, one ha has to wonder just what purpose the place served, sinister or benevolent. Plymouth Church, Brooklyn Heights, New York. Known for its outwardly anti-slavery rhetoric in its minister, Henry Ward Beecher, this, ch this church was often the site of mock slave auctions held in the service of actually freeing slaves. It is said to be the only church in New York visited by Abe Lincoln, but the most re remarkable thing about the church lies through the trap door behind its organ. Referred to as the Grand Central Depot, the Plymouth Church basement served as one of the most prominent waypoints of the Underground Rail Railroad. The church remains active today and visitors can schedule tours of the secret passages that house the escaping slaves in the 19th century. So there you go. If you're in uh, New York, go and check it out. They hold tours of the tunnels. Interesting. Seok Island, Pyongyang, North Korea. It's really weird shaped building, isn't it? It's almost like the uh, logo for the atom. This secret facility is a brainchild of North Korea's newest dictator, Kim Jong Un, who said the compound, who said of the compound visiting the Seok Island of the Isles of Science, everyone will know well about the validity and the validity of the policy of the Workers' Party of Korea, which has been consistently directing big efforts to the development of science and technology. Whether or not anything actually goes, comes and passes out this in Islet, the Supreme Leader spared no expense drafting hundreds of workers from his army to ensure the building's completion in under a year. Wow. The Vatican Library in Rome, Italy. I'd love to get into that library, into the archives. Predominantly featured in Dan Brown's Angels and Demons, the archival vault of the Vatican's library is home to a plethora of history's darkest secrets with the books. While the books hints at the gravity of the library's tombs, no one can say for sure. You either have to be the Pope or have his written permission to enter the vault. There are some closely guarded secrets indeed. The Dyer Residence, Washington, D.C. Dr. Harrison G. Dwyer was an etymologist and a mosquito specialist in the Smithsonian Institute in the early 1900s after a tra traffic accident in D.C. revealed a series of catacombs and an immediately constructed underground tunnels stretch stretching hundreds of feet. It came to light that Dyer had in fact dug these tunnels entirely by himself. Each and every one of these underground passageways led directly back to his yard. I don't know, I find it hard to believe that he would build those tunnels with such intense brickwork. I mean, that brickwork is... It'd be hard to sort of whack up all that brickwork without anyone noticing by yourself. Number 17, Cheyenne Mountain Complex, Colorado Springs, Colorado. A home of Nora, this base was built into a hollowed out mountain. The staff is charged with keeping track of everything in Earth's airspace as well as everything we can possibly detect out of space. Huge screens provide a daily outpour of information, including the constant, constant, constant whereabouts of POTUS and the Vice President. It has been hypothesized that the event of a new winter, 800 people can survive in the complex for a month without any contact from the outside world. Number 16 now. Don't get up me for saying this wrong, but I'll try. Minen V. Walter. Minen V. Walter House. Skeleton Coast, Nambia, shifting sands of a desert does that, doesn't it? Nambia's Skeleton Coast is often referred to as the gates of hell by Portuguese colonists, the land God made in anger by the locals. While na the name actually derives from the washed-up bones that, that littered the coast at its whaling industry peak, 
the title has taken an entirely new meaning, thanks to thousands of shipwrecks and abandoned diamond camps which now do battle with the shifting sands. Perhaps the most notorious of these camps is Mine and Walter House, which is said to be haunted by its miners who were executed and left to rot after the camp's closure. It's horrible. Number 15, H. H. Holmes Motor Castle, Chicago, Illinois. Okay. This hotel, owned and re by renowned serial killer H. H. Holmes, boasts countless secret passageways, chambers, trapdoors, as detailed in The Devil in the White City. The building was host to approximately 200 murders in the course of Holmes' turn as a landlord. He made use of the unorthodox construction to quietly capture and kill guests and tenants alike. It's horrible. I don't get how that can be one of the you know most mysterious buildings. Number 14, Plant 42, Palmdale, California. Just a few miles out of LA, this 5,800-acre plant sealed tighter than a drum. Even parking on the adjacent street is bound to attract unwanted attention from the authorities, and with good reason. It has been said before that any tech being tested at Area 51 was likely designed and manufactured here at Plant 42. La Porta Mag Magica, Rome, Italy. Also known as the Alchemist Door, La Porta Magica sits out in the open despite being one of alchemy's greatest secrets if you believe in that sort of thing all that remains in i can't even say that sorry 17th century villa is this doorway doorway's inscription is said to be the encoded formula to turn metal into gold as given by hal lord morva by accomplished alchemist he repeatedly posted the inscriptions in the hopes that one of the cities Many alchemists would recognize the message and come forth with Dakota Risk. Number 12, Project Greek Island Greenboro Resort. Greenboro, the Greenboro in West Virginia is home to a government project dating back to the Cold War. Apparently the construction of the new West Wing served as a cover for the development of an underground bunker meant to house both houses of Congress in the event of a new attack. Builders posted as maintenance techs for audiovisual company charged with maintaining the resorts, thousands of televisions and the land unearthed to make way for a gigantic panic room that was used to landscape a new golf course. Oh, and the land unearthed to make way for the gigantic panic room was used to landscape the new golf course. Although the bunker goes unused, the resort now offers its guided tours to its guests. The facility boasts its own hospital, a water purification system, decontamination chambers and a giant blast or weighing 25 top. 11 Newport Tower, Newport uh, I am not sure what that is. Looks like half of the top of it's missing. Estimated to be over 500 years old, uh, some historians believe this proves pre-Columbian influence in the Americas. It is perfectly aligned with Stonehenge in addition to other points of interest on the globe. This building remains a centuries-old mystery right down to its original purpose. One thing's certain, was not the work of locals? This is something I might look into. Interesting. Number 10, Lego Design Headquarters. Was it Berlin, Denmark? While Lego's official, official corporate headquarters in Berlin is about what you'd expect, complete with a giant Lego brick mark in its Roundabout driveway, the real exciting stuff is happening a few blocks away in the business park with no obvious signage or decor. Anyone lucky enough to be granted access to Lego Street Design HQ is forced to sign a pretty draconian non-disclosure agreement protecting the secrets they witness inside. Who would have thought Lego of all business could be so get so heavy and what's so secret? Number 9, the first subway station, New York City. The pneumatic one. The Beach Pneumatic Transit System was the first ever attempted at a subway transportation in the 1870s. Interesting. We put in that quotes as we're not sure. We are not sure a two-stop line with one car travelling back and forth constitutes a system. Even still, it was a pretty nifty concept that used pressurised pneumatic tubes to conduct the car. The project's construction had to be proposed as mail delivery system. 
for the fear of incurring the wrath of William Boss Tweed, whose corrupt political organisation had a vested interest in an above-ground means of public transport. Interesting. A very beautiful building, the SIS building, uh, Var Huck's Hall. The SIS building is headquarters of M16, as depicted in the recent James Bond films. This is one of the buildings on the list you surely won't gain access to, indeed, even photographing the Var Huck's Hall Cross. I can't say that name, sorry, I apologise. Can get you a hefty fine and even jail time. The structure was once attacked by an identified assailants using a rocket launcher and one of its building employees was later found dead in a duffel bag. M16 has long been the subject of criticism for its support of terror organisation and the acts of international espionage. It is even rumoured to that the accidental death of Princess Diana was arranged by the, in this building. The Empire State Building in New York is number seven. I find it strange that an aeroplane can crash in you know, sort of about here, <laughs> and didn't collapse the building. <laughs> one of the Big Apple's main tourist waypoints, the Empire State, is one of the most celebrated landmarks of all times. At 103 stories, this Art Deco masterpiece handles thousands of tourists each day, ushers guests to the observation deck, so it's 86 and 102 floors by a remarkably fast elevators. What people don't seem to know, however, is there is a secret deck on the 103rd floor open air unprotected from the elements. This floor was an in originally intended to serve as a docking station for airships. Wow. With the floor be below serving as the reception terminal. There you go. Wow. A lot of people have thought this. Um, and I didn't know that about that, that deck. So what a dock in here and the deck that would land let the people out on that bit, would it? Or would it go tie in up here and the people come out here? That is very interesting, that, this floor. Wow. Room 39, unknown North Korea. Yeah, I don't even know why this gets a mention. Room 39 is the secret North Korean bureau responsible for the wealth of shady dealings. Such malfests, I can't say that, sorry, includes, but is not limited to counterfeiting of U.S., and other first world currencies, weapons, narcotic sales, export of labour to Russia, Africa and the Middle East, as well as insurance fraud. As such, Kim Jong, Korean workers' parties. Yeah, Coral Castle, Homestead, Florida. Now, this castle has some strange instances about it. They, they said the bloke built it all by himself and that um, he had no helpers. Bits would appear comprises over one million pounds of limestone boulders, bigger than those that Stonehenge constructed between 1923 and 51. It was allegedly built by a single man as a homage to his lover, who left him at the altar. Edward Leedskin, a Leviton, Leviton immigrant of a relatively small structure, claimed to understand the secrets of the pyramids. Whatever the case, there's no mortar. He seems utterly precise, and some of the rocks are imperfect. Possibly balanced. This is definitely one of the freakier feats of human engineering. Yeah, there's more to this than what we've been told. Yangadeo International Hotel, Pongyang, North Korea. I don't even know why they put these in. This is a must see for anyone able to secure a visa to North Korea. It rests on its own island amid the river. Both Western Appeal. Yeah, I don't find that really. Yeah, there's better buildings out there than mentioning this one. Number three, the Scientology Celebrity Center, Hollywood, California. The Scientology Celebrity Center is the site of the church's high society gatherings and treatments. The entry to this building is damn near impossible. It is patrolled 24-7 by private security, nestled in the Hollywood's Franklin Village. This is one of the area's best kept secrets. The adjacent hotel is owned by the organization and is reportedly the setting for Scientology's fame confession videos in which initiates are forced to itemize their previous wrongdoings on film in case they ever decide to speak out against the church. I'm noticing a theme with all of these sort of buildings. Google's secret facility, Spaceport USA, and 
New Mexico is that? I'm not quite sure. Geez, they made the roof of the building to blend in well with the ground. Uh, we should pre preface, preface this noting by noting that large proportion of Google's application to the FCC are redacted. At present, the popular belief is that the new structure in New Mexico houses giant experimental radio transmitter, which could be used as long-distance Wi-Fi system for high-volume data transmissions with a range of 230 miles about. Now, we normally wouldn't bat an eye at Google playing with radio tech, but they've been shaking people up with some of their new surveillance patterns, particularly as they're cozy up to espionage bureaucrats worldwide. Lawrence Livermore Lab, Livermore, California. And now for the Mac deadliest, daddiest, mysterious buildings of them all. Lawrence Livermore Lab in California takes the cake home to Sequoia, the world's third fastest supercomputer. This system can form, perform more than 17 quadrillion calculations per second. The lab also houses the National Integrity Faci National Ignition Facility, which is the world's largest and most powerful laser system in the world. That's what we do know, as with many of our other R&D buildings on the list, as much of the facility is closely guarded and some employees are forbidden from sharing the nature of their work with anyone, considering this place is outfitted for conducting nuke experiments, you can bet there's some shady stuff going on here. Let's be glad this thing, things in the States, much of our military tech comes right out of the Livermore lab. So that was number one. All right, wherever you are in the world watching, thank you. I hope you found it interesting. I found some interesting buildings I'm going to go and have a research look into. I uh, hope you enjoy your day, week, wherever you are watching in the world. Thank you very much. So you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, good night, wherever you are watching. Raise your vibrations. Much love. Bye.